Hey Sigvo Dragons, you're here with the audio video production team. My name is Brian Rodriguez. And my name is Brian Boom. We have had the pleasure of visiting Mrs. Roach's Algebra 1 class, and here are the highlights. Alright, so you should have an answer to every single one of those questions, and I want you to turn to your neighbor, read exactly what you wrote. Hopefully you were going to make complete answers, I know there wasn't that much room, it's okay. Be in trouble with that, all right? Um, I'm gonna give y'all two minutes to talk. Don't be too aggressive with them because I really don't want tiles all over my ground. <laughs> Alright, so y'all can just pull them out of the bag, please don't lose them, push them up to the front of your desk if you need, or just off to the side, please don't knock them off. Alright, what we're going to do is before we go into today's lessons, we're going to review simplifying expressions, which you just quizzed over, by using these algebra tiles. Alright, who remembers using these in seventh grade when I taught you? Yeah, or some of you I didn't teach you, but you probably still use them, right? Nothing new. All right, so I want you to have your notes in front of you and these algebra tiles off to the side. Okay? They should be on your desk. All right, hands off really quickly so we can understand what we're about to do. And all eyes to the board. Don't want to waste class time because you're not being uh, attentive. All right, the first type of tile, um, I think y'all's is blue, right? This um, big square is what we call x squared, right? Because if you take the length of one of these, which is an x, and multiply it by another x, it creates x squared, right? So the big piece is x squared. What's the opposite side? Negative. Negative, very good. All right, the long rectangles, or I mean, sorry, rectangles, these represent just x. And then on the other side, the red would represent negative x. And then our tiny little squares, Manuel, please make sure you're paying attention. Tiny little squares, yellow counts for one, red counts for negative one, right? So we're going to use these tiles to just combine like terms, meaning just to simplify our expression, make it simpler for ourselves. First expression we have is x plus 3 minus 2x minus 1 plus 3. Got a lot of stuff happening there, right? And we just want to put them all together. We just want to simplify it, just like you were doing in your quiz. Algebraically, we worked on last week using symbols, right, to organize our information. Another way to look at it is visually, right? So if my first term is an X, what am I going to put first? Green. Oh, a long green rectangle, and it'll come up. There you go. So on your um, desk, I should see one long green rectangle pulled out. Now we have a positive three. So what should we put next? Uh, three, three yellow squares. Three yellow squares. And then I have a negative two x. So what should I put next? Uh, two, red, red. two red rectangles. And then I have a negative one, so I need a what? One red square. These are x squared, not just x. These, yeah, we're not touching these yet. These are x squared. Those are X. You should look something like mine, or you're probably done. Uh, last but not least, we have three positive X's, so what goes on the end? Three green rectangles. Three green rectangles. Very good. Uh, you can share. Yeah, some of these don't have enough. Um, or I can pull out another bag. All right, look to your neighbor. Make sure that they have what you have. If they don't, kindly. Discuss with them what your difference is. Alright, All right. so what do you think it means to combine like terms? So we did step one, draw a visual representation of the expression using the algebra tile. Step two, we want to combine like terms. So what do you think that means? What are we going to do with the tiles? Combine them. So what do you think combining means? Add or like physically, what am I going to do with the tiles? What do you think? Throw them. But what do I mean by combine? What do I mean by fuse? What do we mean by combine like terms with these tiles? Put what together? If I have this X right here, what am I going to put it together with? 
Divide by two. Divide by two. Three. All the other rectangles, right? You're just going to combine or put the like shapes together. So it should look like something like this, right? So just rearrange it. Put all your rectangles together and put all your squares together. That's all combining like terms is, right? It literally says it in the name. Combine like terms. Here is like combined like tiles. Right? Now what do you notice? Step three says remove zero pairs, a positive and a negative, and draw the result. So we're going to draw this all out here in a second. So what do you think it means by zero pairs? Removing zero pairs. Do I just remove a red one? No. No, I remove a what? A green and a red. A green and a red. So look at my image. I have a green rectangle and a red rectangle. I have also a zero pair where I have one yellow square and one red square. Now what am I going to do with them? Can you do one more point? We're going to take it away, right? Why, why was I able to take those away? What does a positive and a negative make together? Zero. Zero. Now as I've heard, what else do I notice? Oh, you can do it again. I can do it again. There's one more. So my resulting image should look something like this. Check with the board, check your neighbor, make sure everybody looks alike. Right? Are we good with what we've done so far? Yeah? Now how am I going to determine the value of x? I have two x's and two, uh, or sorry, how am I going to simplify one more time? Sorry. What is going to be my answer? Is it x squared or how many x's do I have? Two x. So my final answer is just 2x plus, that's supposed to be a 2. Have a typo. So I want you to really quickly, I'm going to give you just two minutes. I want you to try and draw. I know there's not that much uh, space. But I want you to draw what we just did with the algebra tiles in your notes. And I'm going to go back to um, through them all for you. Oh. All right, so our first um, image looks like this. We had 1x. Three positives, two negative x's, one negative x, and three positive x's. So draw this in your notes. You should be writing this. In your notes, you should be writing this. Okay? I want you to draw it for yourself. It's in that second box. Right? On the left. This should, should be going in here. You're supposed to write the responses to those three questions right here. Now, if you um, are really good with your notes and you want to draw every step, that's fine. I'm just going to go through them, right? I would suggest that you draw each step. Some of you guys write really bigly or big. I really want you guys to start focusing on organizing your notes. Um, you don't have, I've said this before, you don't have to have nice handwriting to be organized or have organized notes, okay? So that's not what I'm talking about. Organize your information in a way that it works for your brain, right? Asia, what did we do next after this? So what did that mean? What did we do? Instead of terms, we combined like tiles, right? So our all of our x's went together, our positive and our negatives, and then all of our ones went together. So here's step two if you want to draw it, or please draw it. Draw your final result, which is supposed to be 2x plus 2. 
really quickly. I'm going to fix that so it doesn't say 2x plus 1. I do not know what I was thinking. That's totally simplified. I can't simplify anymore. I'm not. Yeah. Right? Because I have all my x's together and all my ones together, and that's it. I don't have any positive and negatives. They're gone. Now, guys, this is nothing new. This is what we did last week, but now we're just doing it with algebra tiles. Just visual. Oh, are you writing over? I should have put that over. All right. So let's try this again. I want you to try it on your own. But now we've got x squared, okay? I'm going to set it up with you. First, x squared means I'm going to put what tile? The big square, right? The positive green. And then I've got plus 2, so I need two what? Two yellow squares. And then I have negative 2x squared, so I need two what? Very good. Big red squares. I hate that this laser doesn't work well. And then I've got a negative 3, meaning I need negative little squares. So my image should look something like this. I want you to try and draw out each step and get your answer on your own. I need about like two minutes. Stop it. each step. So this is step one. Step two, you're just going to combine like terms, meaning rearrange those tiles. Like <laughs> the tiles together. Flush your flush. That's the not, or number three, remove your zero pairs. And number four, write your simplified answer. So now we're just going <laughs> to combine like terms. So what does that mean when the tile is one out? <laughs> That's, 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 that's number three. Oh. What's combine like terms? Combine like. So what do we do from one to two? Yeah, we got to be <laughs> Now, we're moving here doing this. Good. Tiles 
when a positive and negative was paired, why did you do this? Does this always happen? I want you to think back to that article we just read about the doing and undoing of math, right? So when we have a positive and negative together, we took them away. Another way to think about it is like when you're typing, right? How do you undo something? What does that mean? Or I think about like a balance to the world, right? So those are just some images that make me think about zero pair. Sentence stems, right? So there's no excuse for not writing in complete sentences because I have sentence stems up there. When I saw a positive and negative, I did blank. I did this because blank. I think this will or this won't always happen because. Remember to always justify your conjectures, okay? So I'm going to give you guys four minutes to write. This is not messing with the tiles. We don't want them to end up all over the floor. Push them aside and hands up. We'll help you please stack those are. Okay. So we're writing to learn. It's at the bottom of your notes. Looks like most of us have this on our paper or on our desk. Look up and check yourself. 
so. Make sure you have it. Make sure I'm correct too. Sometimes you know if I make mistakes. We all agree with this? Yeah. Yep. Step two, we're going to do what? Combine like. Combine like terms. So we just put like tiles with like tiles. So do it. And then check your work with my board. Make sure yours looks like mine. Make sure I'm correct. Make sure you're correct. Teamwork, nice dream work. And draw it on your paper. Yes, no, that's perfect. You did great. So, uh, you still have an uh, equal sign. Look at mine. That's what it should look like on your paper. Does that answer your question? Mm -hmm. Is that like, um, we can like, yeah, also just like, just these, you just combine it. And if I had another x, like if I had equals, if this was like a x plus 3 plus 1 equals x plus 4 plus 1, I would have to combine my terms on that side. Right? I have like these two together. So, but all I have are four constants. So I don't have anything else. If I had plus two, I'd have to, right? And I'm doing that, that's what it looks like. Yeah. We got this step. All right, step three. Now this is where it's a little different than what we were doing earlier. First, we remove our zero pair. Where's the zero pair? One and negative one goes away, right? Did you make that happen? Yeah. Okay, draw that really quickly. Okay. Now it says create zero pairs. So remember, our goal is to find the value of one x, right? One of those rectangles. So we want on this left side to only have rectangles. Right? So how could I get these two to go away? How could I make them equal zero? Add how many negative ones? Two. Now, if I do that on one side, I have to do it on the other. So make it look like this and draw it. Now, if you want to write down all I did, okay, one more time. We remove those zero pairs, right? Yeah? Now, I want these two x's to be by themselves. So I need to move these two over here, but I can't just move them. So I want them to equal zero. How do I make them equal zero? Beautiful. If I do it on this side, I need to do it on this. Yeah. Now what's going to happen to those zero pairs? They're going to go away. Right? So you circle them, cross them out, and this is what you should have left. You want to see that again? So we added our zero or our negatives to make our zero pairs. We can circle them and make them go away. Yeah, we see it? Now this is how we do it visually. We will really dive into how you do it algebraically tomorrow. Or I mean, sorry, on Wednesday. But is everybody good with what we've done so far? Does anybody have questions about what we've done so far? You're okay? Yeah? Alright, so. How am I going to know the value of x? This is what I have left, right? This is what I have left? What's the value of x? Can you tell me? What do you think the value of it is? Give me a number. What is the true value of x? If 2x equals 2, what's the value of x? 1. How'd you know that? Because you're smart. You are smart. But tell me why. you got to justify. Why is it 1? Mm -hmm. Why is it 1? You are correct. Why is it one? You want to call him, Frank? He saw you raising your hand. Tell me, why is the value of x one? Uh, because if you multiply x by one, or if I substitute x with one, yeah. what would it equal? Then you multiply two by one. Uh -huh. so two. It's two by one. Two times one is two. That's beautiful, right? One satisfies this equation. If I substitute it. It satisfies it. Now, another way to think about it is number four. Read number four. Um, Aaron, what does number four say to do? Divide the squares evenly along each rectangle, draw the result, and indicate the value of x. Beautiful. So I'm going to take these two squares, and I'm going to divide them evenly 
between my rectangles. So I'm going to take this one and put one with that x. I'm going to take this one and put one with that x. How many little squares would each rectangle have? And I divided them evenly. One. I like to draw it horizontally. Draw it. So that tells me it literally says x equals one. Right? Draw it. I should see you drawing. That is the last step. Right? Is anybody confused about what I just did? This is just telling me each x equals 1. So x equals 1. That would be the equation. 1 is the number. So x equals 4. So we just write x equals 1 and box your answer. Okay, is anybody confused? We feeling good? Alright, All right. we're going to do another writing to learn real quick. Okay, it's at the bottom of your notes. And I want you to also look at the examples where the equations were solved algebraically. Connect what we were doing with the tiles with what you see on the right. I mean, you were supposed to be drawing every step. That's why every single time I said draw, you should have been drawing. I see. I want you to read where it sells off the equations algebraically. Connect that to what we were just doing and what you were just drawing. And in three complete sentences, describe how the idea of doing and undoing things applies to solving equations, both visually and algebraically. So again, look at what we just did with the tiles. Then look at the algebraic examples off to the right. This is nothing new. You guys have been doing this since seventh grade, right? So you should know how to solve equations by hand. Of course, I know there's been a summer and a couple of years since we We hope that this information helps you be successful, and thanks for watching, and have a great day.